Yeah, well, here we go. Here's the World Health Organization. Master eugenicists themselves. On uranium and drinking water. This is out of their manual. Not, not the Agenda 21 manual. The, <clears throat> the manual for the... Um, Compartmentalized brown shirts that run it. And you know, like we were saying 20 years, well, where the fuck is this going to go in 20 years' time? Well, I don't even dare ask that question today. Five years' time. Because they had just scammed everything and were gearing up to go straight fucking gung-ho. tiny reactor in every fucking neighborhood, can you imagine? Right, so having huge ones every here and there blow up and leak and everything else didn't pan out so good, so instead of having, you know, a thousand will have hundreds of thousands and eventually, you know, what? Truly incredible. No, it's not about the, the bottom line. Okay, I agree they make great standoff weapons if you can protect them from accidentally triggering, which you can't. <clears throat> Just like all them doomsday warships. And the aircraft carriers with two, some of the older ones, six. Six fucking nuclear reactors, and these aren't like the ones on on dry land. No, the ones on dry land. Excuse me, the dogs need me. Yeah, the nuclear reactors on dry land, like Fukushima, are, are running. Low enriched uranium. It's uh, really hard to get it to go critical. <clears throat> the ones uh, that the navies use, the Russians, the British, the Americans, the nuclear powered submarines, the aircraft carriers, they're like cranking them out at. 97%, 95% as pure as they can get it. The idea being is you don't recore that until the ship's gone, done, finished. Now, 30, 40 year half life is what they're shooting for now. As opposed to every couple of years with your down the block variety of nuclear reactor. So, you know, at any one time you've, you've, you've got maybe 300 of these nuclear powered warships out there uh, fusing, not, you know, sitting at the dock idly but actually, you know, the reactor spared up the highly enriched reactor Give it to the Chinese are claiming the ones they're making for their warships are much like uh, how the French have went are um, just on the brink of uh, medium and low enriched at 
so it's much much harder to get uh, mixtures that low to turn into a big huge motherfucking explosion and the percentage we're talking relatively stable U238 the more natural form as opposed to highly unstable um, U235 or plutonium some of the plutonium mix the ones that are giving off a lot of fission quickly you know half lives of uh, 20,000 years as opposed to four and a half billion year half lives for U-238 <coughs> so say so you got 200 warships between the worlds at any one time you know you could just blast any of them and destroy the earth so there you go there's your standoff weapon for aliens oh yeah you want to kill us and take our planet well fine we'll take the planet with us as long as you know a major interstellar solar storm doesn't come along and trigger them or you know your enemies start shooting at them like in your home park <laughs> explodes a neutron uh, warhead over top and just a small one you don't have to get it very close especially the directed ones where they lens it instead of really wide beam that's you know a narrow focused beam very concentrated zap that nuclear missile cruiser or that nuclear missile or that nuclear powered um, aircraft carrier with the neutron bomb and see, see what happens to what's in the reactor drinking water part now. I even have a little bit on touching on and trying to oversimplifying how easy it is to clean uranium out of water. cheap it is it can be done but you know very expensive very suspicious lime softening uh, yeah okay that, that sounds feasible so you just gonna precipitate it all out or at least the parts you were testing for <laughs> Probably in your own home, you're gonna go with reverse osmosis systems for you know maybe five, six hundred bucks. Hundred, probably hundred and twenty to hundred and forty dollars a year to service it if you change the filters yourself twice. I don't know, that might be good for well, it depends on your water. Might be good for a thousand gallons, it might be good for four thousand gallons for filter change. Depends how much crops in your water. Don't know much about the Aeon exchange plants, but Say don't 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 believe what you read and what you hear. <laughs> what you see. <clears throat> the world's fuller than it ever has been on cheap game. Everyone 
telling everyone else what the, what they want you to hear so they can use you. Anything to add? Yeah. Don't drink the water, there's something not too good about it. Poor bugger, yeah. I wonder if Mo would still be around. And if I would still have my parts if we weren't already all juiced up on uranium oxides. We've got that out of our diet now, so there won't be any more. They're doing what we can to remove out what we suspect is in there. Hey, Cindy. Talk about a fog up, eh? Fortunately, I've taken a cue from how everyone else operates their life supplies, and I definitely remember Bear suggesting we rent this place on a walk one day. We were camped in the bus up the road, working at a little local garage, Kurtz Automotive. And um, so, Bear's willing to take part of the blame for moving here, right? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun there, but the lesson is, once again, know what you're putting in your body. You know, whether it's uh, you girls with that makeup. What's in it? What are you putting on your body? Hey, what about that food you're eating? That manufactured instant food. What's in it? What are you putting in your body? What are you doing to yourself? Good price to pay to not know. As much as people don't want to bother themselves with reality. <laughs> <laughs> 